In the winter of 2012, I met up with my good friend and fellow primitive archer Thad Beckham. Like me, he has an innate curiosity about the hunting techniques and weaponry of Native Americans. His research uncovered old historical texts written by early explorers who first encountered the highly sophisticated Indian tribes of the southeastern United States. One detail that was fascinating was the surprising variety of organic materials used as arrow points. Shark teeth, deer antler, stingray barbs, garfish scales, honey locust thorns, and deer leg bones, as well as a variety of wooden points, were all used to tip the arrows of prehistoric Indians of this region. For this video, Thad will test the penetration of replica organic points on a freshly killed deer to determine if they would have been effective for big game hunting. The wooden bow used in this test pulled 52 pounds, and the 500 grain arrow was made of local river cane. We would test a fresh bull shark tooth, fossilized bull shark tooth, unmodified garfish scale, sharpened wooden foreshaft, broadhead of deer leg bone, and a wooden broadhead made of hard maple. Okay, maple point going now. Got some good penetration there. We clip the rib going in. Can you stick out the other side? No, I don't think it. No. Nope. No. No, it's not. It did not come out the other side. Okay. Okay. I wish we could mark it and we could measure it later. A pencil. I'll mark it. Okay. We don't need to shoot this again. Okay, you got. Um... I tell you what, it did. Shit, that would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is Maple Broadhead point, take two. Oh, I missed. I hit shoulder, didn't I? I don't it, think so. No, close. I don't think so. You're close. It didn't get... It hit that shield. Billy, and we didn't get but... four inches. Okay. So, I hit that... Uh, I think I hit that uh, shield, that plate. Okay, here we go, Maple Point, take three. Oh, what, pull on it. Same hole, ain't it? Looks like it. Yeah, but well, that's not... That's, uh... That's not really doing the same thing. Oh, darn. No. Oh, I see it. Ah, oh, it ain't gonna penetrate. The point's already boogered up. Oh, the wood. Look, the wood's peeled back. That's what's stopping it. Side notch bone point, take one. Oh, yeah. <sighs> hit high, though. I, I heard it hit a rib. I think it still would have done it, though. It ain't out the other side. That's deeper than the first one, Billy, yeah. I think. But it hit a little high, shouldn't no, I? No exit wound. Why am I shooting so crazy? Probably that light hour, I'm not used to it. This is Garfish Scale Point. Take one. That didn't do it too good, did it? Not that great. That was a good hit, but it... Uh, no, I wouldn't shoot a Garfish Scale Point into a deer. Because that should have went in there. With a flint point, that would have went in, Billy. Oh yeah. You know yeah. what? I mean, it's right on the crease. It would have went right in there, don't you think? Yeah. And I, I didn't get that much penetration with that. So the garfish scale point was it, not- There's no way it went through to the other side. No, there it is. It's right there. You wanna try it one more time? Can you shoot it one more? I don't think it's uh, there's the penetration. I mean, you've got four shaft, you got four inches maybe. Yeah. And we're guessing, but it don't have to be that exact. Yeah. That's four inches. About three and a half, four inches, yeah. That's not enough. No. That's a wounded deer, not a dead deer. Yeah. Okay, this is Garfish Scale Point, take two. A little more center little better. rib that time. A little better. Yeah, hit center rib. That would have that killed a deer. That was That's dead center long. Okay, this is White Bull Shark 2. No wrappings on it, take one. 
Oh, holy cow! God. Wow! Now that did some damage. The shark tooth was bad. <laughs> Wow. I think the point went. I heard something fly the out. The point went through the woods. Yeah, I just heard it fly out. My God. No damage. It held up great. Look at just that. Just from animal glue. That's impressive. Just from animal glue, Billy. Now you tell me yak and points were tied. I don't think they were tied. No. That just proves it right there. Look at that thing. It blew right through that. Yeah. Thing, this is fossilized shark tooth. Take one. I think that's deadly right there. What do you think, Billy? About the same though. Yeah. It's about the same penetration. Bone, sharp teeth. That opened a hole on its own. Look at that hide cut, man. You can see the hair cut. Look. It's oh, wow. Yeah. Neat. Damn. Did cut <laughs> the hair. You want to grab it? Let's see. Hang on. We did it. Nothing out the other side, right? It's right underneath the skin. Is it? It's right what underneath I killed the, the skin. Yeah, I can feel it right you there. You know, I'm gonna, I'm leaning towards shark teeth being a little better than yeah. the rest. What do you think? Yeah, I can feel it. It's right there. Oh, it's almost out the other yeah, side. Yeah, it's poking out the other side. Okay, this is sharpened wood point take one. Yeah, that didn't do so well. Nah, that did poor cat length. It stopped right at the bindings, it looks like. Yeah, it stopped at the bindings. And it looks like it hit right beside another hole, Billy. But it did make its own hole. Okay. It did. After the test, we took the deer to the processor and showed him there were still people crazy enough to hunt with Stone Age weapons. Okay, that's the flat there, right? Yeah, that's the flat. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We make that. we make them and uh, it's hafted on there with that glue I'm talking about and, uh, and the deer tendon. Yeah. That deer tendon here, that sparkleberry. Okay. In the river cane, that's the native uh, river cane, and the turkey feathers are tied, tied on there. Yeah. Yet. Yeah. Well, y'all be doing it. Yeah. I killed 22 deer with that kind of arrow. 22. 22. Yeah. And, and you know, in my yeah, career, yeah, hunting. yeah. What about that? Look at yeah, that ain't bad. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't bad. That let you know what the idiot you could have did. Uh, yeah. Man, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what they were doing. Yeah. That's what they were doing. Yeah. That's exactly what they was doing. That's right. That's cool. That's cool. I'm telling you. You know, I always wonder how in the devil they were making them arrow. This is southeastern. And making it, you know, the stick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah this is southeastern them. Indian arrow right there. This is it. When we looked inside the deer, we found some surprises. The rifle Ready to show head, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, it's stuck in there. Yeah, it went into the shoulder. It's stuck into the shoulder. Into the shoulder blade? Yeah. Into the shoulder. That Look, it feel it. It's in. Holy cow. So it's stuck in that shoulder it. blade. One of the shark teeth points had embedded itself into the far shoulder. Wiggle it out. Wiggle it out. Yeah. Oh, you lost it. It came out. It's that was one that was just glued in. The shark tooth that was glued in. Well, we, I get it out on this end right here. Yeah, he can get it out. Get it out Billy, on. don't cut I yourself. Let me get it out. On you know, it, I bet it. Oh, it busted. Uh, The end point's doing more damage yeah. than you think. Yeah, I mean, it went through. It went through to the other side. The shark tooth and the bone points were doing it. Yeah. I wish I'd have hit lower with this one. Okay, I think this shoulder right here. Yeah. 
This photo shows the bone broadhead. It severed the dorsal aorta, which runs just under the spine, and would have proved quickly lethal. Our penetration test revealed that bone broadheads with sharp edges can be lethal on big game when used at close range. But the star of the test was the shark teeth, particularly the fresh bull shark tooth. Its performance and lethality was on par with razor sharp flint points. Its finely serrated edges proved nothing short of deadly. The wooden points weren't nearly as effective. They tended to be good for only one shot. After that, they were quickly deformed from hitting bones. Their edges weren't nearly as sharp as flint or bone, making them much better suited for small game. The garfish scale also wasn't sharp enough for big game and would have only wounded the animal. 